Welcome back to the Arcade Repair Tips video series. Today we're going to talk to you about a new product and it's called a non-destructive kit for your 60 and one that goes into a dedicated Pac-Man or Miss Pac-Man game. See, the problem with this game is we've always had board issues. And, you know, sometimes we get it fixed or whatever, it might not work for long. So we're going to bulletproof this game today. But we're not going to take the integrity of the game out. I know you guys have seen all the hacks and stuff out there where somebody's taking a Tron, put a 16 one in it, and you're, you're, wanting to, you're wanting to choke that guy. But well, this will keep, and some of you are saying, well, you've done it to a Miss Pac-Man game. Well, this way we can do it and easily switch it back if we ever want to sell it as a Miss Pac-Man. But for right now, we're going to install this. Let me show you what this kit includes. My, my, I ought to mention right off the bat that currently the price is around $120 uh, for the whole kit plus shipping and stuff. So let's say your Miss Pac-Man or Pac-Man board is not working. Well, it would cost you that much just to get your board repaired or to get another board off of eBay, which is still used and still may go bad after a while. This is all brand new stuff. It's really cool. First of all, it comes with a computer style power supply. This is ATX power supply, 450 watt, which is really really a little overkill, but that's good. It won't be uh, something that should go out anytime soon. Then it comes with this little adapter. Now what's cool about this adapter is this adapter we're actually going to plug into your existing harness and that is going to adapt it to play with your 60 and one board. So real cool, real simple. We're just going to plug that in, hook it up back there, and then it, um, that should be it. We're going, to, we're going to install it and show you how it's done. Well, as you can see, we've now got it all installed. Let's talk about how we did that. The first thing we did was we took out the original Miss Pac-Man board. Once we got the original board out, we they sent some feet and we mounted the 61 board. Then we put the adapter on top of it, just like your normal harness would go on top of there. Now, here's something that they didn't tell us and we didn't have instructions for. We did have to come up with a way. They sent the power supply and on the, on the video they had, they mounted it to the side. And we were trying to think of a way that you guys could do this without having to spend any extra money or anything. So you might remember, if you go back, there was a bracket back here that holds your Miss Pac-Man daughter card. And we took that and we used it as a shelf. And then we set the power supply on here. Now there are two things that you can do at this time. You could run this separate power cord out of here but here's our rule. We don't like a lot of cords, more than one cord, coming out of the game when you can only have one. Also, if you run a separate cord and you turn the game off, this power would still be on unless you turn it off by a power strip, which that's one way that you can do this. So what we did was we came over here and found the two wires that were going up to the light and the ground over here, and we stripped the end of the cord like this, we cut this part off, we strip the wires, and we just tie it in right there to that so that when you turn the game on, it sends power over to here. And that's as simple as it was. So now, we still have our original Miss Pac-Man board we can put back in later if we need to. We still have the original Miss Pac-Man power supply and uh, all that stuff down in the bottom of the cabinet. Still the monitor's hooked up like it was. The only thing different is that we are now running the 60 in one board 
Let's go around to the front of the cabinet and show you how it plays. Well, as you can see, it's working great and uh, fun to play. I uh, just want to remind you that we did get this from JammaBoards.com and they call it the Pac-Man Miss Pac-Man Upright Cabinet 60 and 1 Upgrade Complete Kit. So look for that on their website. I think it's a great alternative, especially if you don't want to destroy the cabinet. You don't even have to add a fire button. We're going to show you next just exactly how that works. Okay, you might notice that there's no fire button here. Well, you might, here's what it does. The player one is also the fire button, and the player two is also start and the fire button. So you just use these buttons right here to start your game, and it uses fire. So you use the same buttons. We didn't even have to drill a hole or anything in the control panel. Control panel stays the same. You use these two as your buttons. Well, as you can see, as we find out about new products and things, we like to show you how they work, and also things that we highly recommend. This would definitely be one of them, especially if you want to keep your uh, original cabinet, but be able to play your 16-in-1, or you could do it until you get your board fixed. It's always good to have, it's a JAMA board, so you could also use it as a good, they make great test boards, by the way. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, as always. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to contact us. So, once again, thanks for watching the Arcade Repair Test Video Series, and we're still in high def.